All right, folks, this video is going to cover net making 101. This is basic net making techniques. Now, in order to follow along with this tutorial, you're gonna need a gauging card and a net needle. Now, you can buy these things, but they're very easy to make, so I'm gonna show you how to do that. Let's get started. I'm just gonna make a, a gauging card. This is gonna determine uh, how big our meshes are. Now, if you're not subscribed to the channel, go ahead and do that and click that bell icon so you can get notified when I drop a new video every Thursday at 4 p.m. Pacific. All right, so we've got the gauging card done. And so if you make it flat like this, a card, uh, the distance from here to here is going to be your knot to knot measurement on your, your mesh. So if you want a bigger or smaller mesh, you would just make a bigger or smaller card. All right, let's make a net needle. So we have a gauging card and we also have our net needle. So these two things right here are vitally important. All right, so I've got about 10 feet of paracord here. I've got my net needle. I'm gonna go ahead and just load this onto my net needle and use the paracord to show you how to start the meshes, how to tie the knots, because the uh, doing it with paracord like this is gonna make it a lot easier to see. So to load your net needle, you're just gonna take a loop slip knot doesn't matter uh, put it on this little peg and then go under come over this way flip the net needle and just keep on back and forth back and forth like this until you're loaded all the way up all right so to get started we're going to come through the bottom side we're going to have this just like that we're going to take our gauging card, we're going to go up here, and we're going to come down maybe two inches or so. This really depends on the size of your net needle, the size of your mesh. This first run is not critical. So we're going to throw this over, and then we're going to come back in the underside, and we're going to tie, all, it is, all this is is a slip knot. Very, very simple. Just a very simple slip knot, just like that. All right, so we've got our slip knot here. We're gonna come back in the bottom. And our knot is sitting right at the top of our gauging card here. So now we have this behind, this piece in front. I'm gonna pin those. I'm going to throw another loop over and then I'm going to come back behind and through between the new mesh and the one that we previously did right there. And we're going to tie another slip knot. We're going to do it again. Up through, down, pin, sling your loop. And then we're gonna come in between this new one that we just formed and the one that we previously did. And we're gonna tie another slip knot. Now you notice that I'm keeping this pinned 
with my thumb until I, it's almost tied. If I let it loose, my, my mesh is going to get really loose. Up through. Down. Pin. Oops. Sling a loop. Come back through and tie your knot. A little bit different perspective, so come up through, come down. We're going to pin this with our thumb. Give yourself a little space between here. We're going to throw a loop over, come back through here. So this is the mesh that we just made. This is the next one. Come back through here. And tie or not. One more time. Come up through, pin, sling a loop. Now make sure that this stays over like that. And there we go. And we'll go one more. So this technique is gonna work great for things like landing nets, gill nets, forging bags, and many other netting applications. There we go. So now, these are not actually meshes. That's just your starting point. Now the next run that we go, those will actually be meshes. So now, We've got, it, we've got it pulled off. This is just the start of your net. These are actually just slip knots. Those are not tied in with your sheet bin like you need uh, to actually make the meshes. So we went this way. We're gonna rotate this thing so that we're always going to be working from left to right or right to left if you're left-handed, whatever way works best for you. I'm gonna take my gauging card. I'm gonna put it underneath here. I'm gonna hook my gauging card. I'm gonna come under and now I'm going to pull the slack until my gauging card just touches the bottom of that loop that we hooked. So now our gauge or our mesh is set. The, the gap is set. So again, I'm going to pin this, sling my loop over, and I'm going to come underneath the loop that we just formed And that is our first sheet bend for an actual mesh. So then we just move to the next one, next loop. Do the exact same thing. So we've got our meshes peeled out, our, our loops peeled out there. We're going to we're going to go through this one next. We're going to come up through it. Pull slack until our gauging card, until our mesh touches that gauging card just like that. We're going to pin this down right here. Give ourselves a little space to work with. Make sure we got enough slack on that. We're going to sling our loop over. And then we're going to go in between here. This is the one that we just tied. This is the next one we're working on. We're going to come around, go right in between those. And then make sure that this is around your loop here. If it gets below that, it won't actually tie the knot. And that's it. So each one of these things is a, is a sheet bend. And that's the proper knot. So I want to show you how you can mess this up, this knot. You can actually tie a false knot that won't hold. So we'll go around here just like normal. I'm having to hold it with my pinky because this paracord doesn't act real, uh, act like normal line. So if 
you see that this loop is around the, the loop above it. That is a, that's very important. If I get below it like that, I'm going to tie what's called a false knot like that. That's not going to work because this slides. That's not going to hold your net in place. So we need to undo that. You got to really watch out for that. And it's going to take you a little while. You know, you need to, you got to practice with it and you got to, you got to make some ugly nets to start with. Just like bow making, you got to make some ugly bows to start with. Okay, so pull it down until our gauging card, until our loop sits right on top of there. Sling this over, come through here, make sure our loop is around the top, and then I'm keeping this with my thumb, I'm keeping it pinned until the, the knot is almost closed and then I let it go. We'll go ahead and finish this up, and then we'll pull our card out and I'll show you what we've done. In my opinion, this technique is far superior to the way that most survival netting is made with the overhand knot method. Using this method, you end up with a much more uniform mesh size and just a better net all around. Plus, you can build your net in a pretty confined area, such as inside your shelter. I spent a lot of hours building these nets inside my shelter when it was dark and there was nothing else to do. Okay. So now we just peel that off. And there's our first run of actual meshes. Now these are very loose knots. I didn't tighten them up, uh, but you definitely should. I'm gonna take this all apart though. So then we would flip it around again and stick our gauging card on there and then come back up through that first loop and start the whole thing over again and you just work from the top down, just like that, all the way. All right, so now that we've got the, the basic knot taken care of, I'm gonna go ahead and load my net needle up with some bank line, and we'll make a net. All right, guys, that's gonna wrap it up for this video. I hope you guys learned something and enjoyed it. Again, be sure to subscribe to the channel because I'm uploading a new video every Thursday, 4 p.m. Pacific, just before the new episode of Alone. I have another video where we're using these techniques to recreate this landing net that I made on episode five of season eight of Alone. We'll see you guys next time.